Hello and welcome to Gaming Monday. It might be a Gaming Monday. Might have just uploaded it on another day. I thought we'd play some Diablo 3. This is a voice-over commentary, not not a not a live commentary. And yeah, I, I prefer live commentaries too, but sometimes voice-over commentaries are quite entertaining too. Um, I will try and do a live commentary of D Diablo. Haven't yet done one. Uh, but I will I will try and do one. So I'm gonna play Diablo 3. I uh, got my my friend in there with me. And he is Okay, so we're at the Diamond Gate, so spoilers, spoilers, spoilers all, all around. This is actually quite you know, a couple of couple of months since I first started Diablo, so I don't think I'm a noob anymore. I'm a noob no more. I'm level 51. I think it goes up to 60. Don't quote me on that. Uh, I think my friend is level 53 on here or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, we're in heaven. Heaven's been um, attacked. And uh, for some reason, my yeti is going into the red. So we'll just turn the gain down a little bit. Because I don't uh, hate it when voices... I mean, my voice is quite loud anyway, but for this, the Yeti just picks up absolutely anything. And it'll probably be picking up the... Uh, me moving the mic now, and it'll probably be picking up uh, my laptop taking off. But what can you do? So, as you can see, I do spam a lot I mean the gameplay what what are you gonna say about the game gameplay of Diablo it's quite basic you've got well it depends on your class I suppose but uh, essentially what you've got is you've got your, your main attack button which is a and uh, you've got you've got your, your large attack buttons but like I say it depends on the class uh, my, my friend Shiz is uh, has got his ma his main attack, which is just a melee attack, and then he's got lots of other special attacks. Uh, but his uh, bottom left hand, see the little uh, hourglass kind of, well not hourglass, but uh, I don't know, the little um, symbol at the bottom left that fills up with yellow or orange and blue. When it, I I build up the yellow by hammering A. And I build up the blue by uh, just just naturally, or I can use a special move that, that boosts the blue up. But uh, the more yellow I have, the more I can do the that attack that I'm doing right now, the the rapid fire attack, which does a lot more damage. So at the moment, I'm holding RT uh, to do that attack. When I'm firing a single arrow at a time, I'm pressing A. And when I'm putting my finger of doom, I think I'm pressing the Y button. Uh, and when I shoot away in backflip, I press the B button. But that uses blue. So some attacks use blue, uh, but the main RT button that I use the most uh, uses RT. So all the time I'm dodging because I can't really take much damage. Shiz can take an awful lot more damage than me. He's got a huge amount of health. Uh, but... As an upside, I think I do more damage, but he does his damage increases over time the more attacks he does, and also I think they bleed and he he can he can siphon life off creatures as well. So, which is excellent because if he's siphoning more than he's getting hit by, then that's you know that's that's how his character works. I think his character's a barbarian, is it something like that? And mine's a demon hunter. And yeah, so we're in hell. Uh, hell, we're in heaven. But kind of looks like hell in a way, doesn't it? So we're just making our way through heaven. That's been uh, messed up. Speaking to this angel, and you can just spin him around and around. But 
the beauty about this game is it's not the graphics or the gameplay. I mean, the gameplay is quite simple. You, it's a really good game after work or after a heavy day. You sit down and you can just hold RT or just press A. It doesn't require too much thinking whatsoever. It's just it's just killing hordes and hordes of enemies. It's uh, it's really quite basic, really just satisfying, just to chill out and just to, especially with uh, with another friend. If you've got uh, one or two friends or three friends to play this with, then it is it it really brings it into the, into its own because there's more enemies, they're tougher. They're, you know, they're just, um, it just, the more people, the, the more you'll enjoy the game. If it's just you, it's not going to be as enjoyable, in my opinion. And there's some games where, if it is just you, it is going to be incredible. And more people do spoil the, the suit, but more people the better. This goes for GTA, I mean, yeah, it's got single player, but the multiplayer is really, really good. And, uh, more people do add a lot to that, uh. Unless they're being complete idiots and killing you all the time, I suppose. But with this one, it's a co-op game. You can't really kill each other unless you go in the arena. Um, so it's you know it's a very very good co-op game. And the beauty of this, I'd say, isn't isn't the graphics and gameplay and things. It's actually building up your character, leveling up, building the, a really really well-rounded character because there's so many special attacks and magic attacks and all kinds of things that you can choose to for your character that you'll find that not everybody's character is is the same because also the the loot all the weapons and things and the armor they all add stat bonuses and things and uh, status effects so you really no two characters will be the same uh, unless they've gone through all the all of the difficulties uh, in the same kind of way and the chances of that are just, are just very slim anyway um, but uh, this is my build character as I say he's, he's a level 51 he's good at range obviously because he's a demon hunter he can't take much damage and he's, he's quite fast his attacks are quite fast and he does an awful lot of damage uh, this is nightmare uh, mode it's very strange because with Diablo I always thought that nightmare mode was probably the, the most difficult 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 or, or what not and, and then I got to this game and I looked on the menu settings and it says it says uh, you've got your normal mode uh, then I think you've got nightmare mode uh, then I think you've got hell mode no sorry you've got normal mode and then I've forgotten the other mode to be honest but you've got nightmare mode and hell mode and, and hell mode it actually is is the hardest. No, Hell, Nightmare, Inferno. There we go. I do apologise. All right, but Inferno is 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 the third mo last mode. And difficulty-wise, I always thought that they they corresponded to difficulty, but now I find out that they just correspond to uh, the enemies' attacks, how many enemies there are, their speed, things like that. So it's not. In a way, it kind of is difficulty, but it's not difficulty difficulty in terms of say the power of the attacks and um, uh, the way they use their attacks things like that because when you choose your uh, in you know nightmare hell inferno uh, when you choose them you then have to choose the actual difficulty of the game and they range from easy medium hard then I think you've got master level one two three four five maybe and this is master level one, I think, on Nightmare. So in a way, I've already completed the game uh, on normal. Uh, and I think this is the second time through it, or possibly the third time through it. And um, I think I've got, yeah, one more difficulty after this. I'm not, not completely sure though. But yeah, I have sunk a fair few hours into this, considering I've completed it you know, a few times. It's not a very long game, in my opinion. It's not the storyline and everything. It's not that long. There's about four, four or five main chapters. Uh, they do take a few hours each, um, but obviously that depends on the difficulty and things. I mean, this this guy isn't too difficult.
as you can see, spam the A button to build up the hatred, which is the yellow bar on the left, bottom left, and that will mean that I can use this stronger attack. So it's quite simple the way it works. And this is all the loot, look. This is all the loot that, uh, that drops. And like I say, you're always getting new, new loot, different loot. Again, here's some angels. Oh, can't spin that one around. Get some kind of cutscene that I skipped very quickly. I mean, Blizzard are probably going to copyright this video anyway, aren't they? Because uh, that's what all games companies are like. It's not. It's not good enough that you that you have to. I oh, don't want want to moan. Not good enough that you that you buy the console, you you buy the online component, you buy the game brand new, um, you you buy your telly, you buy your sound system, you buy buy all these things, you amplify your speakers, all the rest. You buy all these things, and uh, still the, the the very large games companies or very large companies. Um, Want want to control uh, how you record it? I mean, it's your it's your content. Well, it's not your content. It's you don't own the the rights to it. That was just a little skip there, and um, because I I think I went back and looked at my gear, and so I thought I'd. This is quite quite um, edited and things. This video because I don't like videos where they just waste your time with you know loading screens and. And things. I mean, I think there's a couple of loading like, screens in this video, but uh, but yeah, no, I, I can't stand that. I mean, look how much damage that does. That's, what was that? A quarter of my health, and they're home in those fireballs. Look at this. Look at that. Dead straight away. And I think that was like two hits or something like that. Um. So yeah, I do die in this. Um. I think Shiz dies as well. Maybe not in this this bit, but he he does die. Uh. Because this is uh, this is this can be quite tough if you let the enemies get on top of you, it, they can really cause you some damage. But anyway, back to what I was saying about the big games companies and things. Yeah, you you he invest heavily, and when you invest heavily, you know, you they kind of know that you're going to be buying more games or uh, you're going to be investing again. It's kind of like like that, and so with all that information. And with you trying to promote the game, because this is a bloody good game, uh, you know, and I'm so pleased it came to console because I don't have a, a an incredible PC. Um, I used to, I used to have decent PCs, and then after a year or two years, amazing graphics cards were coming out every year for about the same price as a console, um, and even more so now, and I just. I couldn't. I couldn't justify it. I couldn't justify basically buying a console every year. Uh, other people might might, and that's fine. But I would ask myself, how many PC games am I buying every year that would really make the most of it? So there you go. I leveled up there, 52. You do level up quicker in the in the later so difficulties in the later game modes. So like you'll level up quicker in. Know, in Inferno than you will in, in Nightmare and things. And then if you've completed it in, in in Nightmare, then if you do a new game again, or a new uh, go through mission select again, then you'll just you you won't level up half as quick um, as you did when you when you did your first run through. So anyway, going back to my moaning. With the games companies and things, you you buy all this thing, all of the the items and that, and you want to promote the game. Uh, I don't think there's a single game that I've said that's absolutely rubbish. I may have pointed out games that have little flaws and things, but in a way, that's a good thing too because other people will avoid them or try and replicate them or uh, put them to good use and make fun of them. It's not really damaging the game. I mean. And, and all of the things in the game are there for a reason. Yeah, we know bugs happen, glitches happen. Uh, that's just part of game developing, I suppose. I just turn her around. 
remains. But in a way, you just want to promote the game. You want to, you want to make sure that you you're giving some good promotion to a game because this is this is a good game, like I say, and I think you know a video like this shows it. I'm having fun. Got my co-op uh, partner there. Yeah, I've died a couple of times, but it's enjoyable. Building your character up, leveling up. I'm not really showing the game in a negative light. So that being said, if, if you do that, um, I don't see where the problems are. Uh, it's not like you're... See another little, little edit. Uh, I'm not really sure what tile to use for the edits for these. Um, fade to black works okay. Blur sometimes works. But uh, but yeah, no. As I say, I don't I don't really see the problem in in uh, promoting the games. I mean, yeah, there are people that don't and say that they're rubbish and things. But uh, I think you should be allowed. Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, Monetize. Mm. I. I think you should and you shouldn't. Um. Because the big, the big big game, YouTube game companies and YouTubers and things like that, they do make a lot of money. They they do. Uh, and and essentially what they're doing is they're, they're they're playing the game. Yeah, they may be doing a live blog. Uh, or they might be a live commentary, or they might be doing a voiceover commentary. Um, but they're essentially doing what I'm doing, and what a lot of other people do, uh, and what a lot of people want to do. So why why should they be why should they not be kind of uh, rewarded? The the biggest reward is you should be enjoying making the videos, which I do. Enjoying uh, talking over videos and doing the commentary, letting people know about the features of the game and things like that but it's 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 that whole concept of how full is the reward think of it as a pie chart think of your reward for doing it should be you know your self motivation and you you want to and support from other people of course it's very important so try and look at it in pie in in a pie chart and segments and the majority of that pie chart is your enjoyment and your motivation and why you get up in the morning and and do the videos uh, but a small bit would be some kind of uh, monetary uh, reward accomplishment um, even if it's and and this is the thing I don't look at my videos or, or any any of my videos and I look at them and go wow that that video is made such and such or that video is only made two pence or something I don't look at it like that because I enjoy it and I want to bring people content and I think YouTube is an excellent medium to do that, although it is going downhill a bit with their misdirection, misguided direction, and uh, of, of, of walking a, a diff, trying to walk a different path that they shouldn't really be on in the first place. A prime example is their their, their social uh, media kind of push that they're going for in trying to um, copy. Uh, Facebook and Twitter and things and trying to make it more sociable. It thing is, it's, it's already sociable. But I don't want to make, turn this video into a YouTube rant. No. Carry, it, keep it with with games in, in general. So yeah, there should be some kind of monetary uh, reward um, or motivation. As I say, the amount is negligible. It's just the fact that it's there. And I'd rather have all of my videos monetized and earn one p a video or something like that than have all of them but one or all of them but a couple uh, monetized because in, in my head I just don't have that full pie chart and that's all it is it's uh, it's you've done your video you've you've got the motivation to do it you've um, you found that motivation you found the time to do it because it's your time yeah you are playing the game you're enjoying the game you're recording it which does take a while to set up uh, I think the PlayStation 4 and Xbox one will be different. Um, I think you'll press a button or something like that, so it'll be a lot, lot easier to record it, record it or stream it. Uh, but at the moment, with the Xbox 360, and yeah, don't get me started with PlayStation 3, how, how to uh, uh, record those videos. 
but uh, at the moment it's um, it's a bit bit of an effort, bit of a hassle. I mean, yeah, you are enjoying the game, but at the same time, there's a bit of preparation. Uh, you have to uh, record it. You have to put it into your movie player. You have to watch it. You have to put your commentary on it. You have to edit it, export it. There's a lot of work that goes on. Um, I would say each video, especially a gaming video, I would say that you're looking at um, three times. Three, I'd say three or four times the amount of time the video is. You, you can add that on for all of the other things. So it's not like, oh, the video is 30 minutes, he's watched it for 30 minutes and did the commentary. It's he's watched it before they've done the commentary and then watching it while he's doing the commentary. It's see where I'm coming from. It's 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 a lot of uh, a lot of extra time um, that that is involved that a lot of people don't realise. I didn't realise it. I uh, hold my hand up right now. Did not realise that gaming videos and things took this long. Uh, because anybody can get a, get a camera, they've got their iPhones and whatever, uh, they can get a camera, put it in front of their knife collection or game collection or whatnot, and do videos on it. A anybody can, whether people will like the videos or whether they'll be a success depends on a number of factors. But in terms of gaming videos, uh, you have to invest an awful lot uh, of, of time and effort and, and all the rest of it. Uh, but saying that, that's that's console gaming. See, I'm I'm dying a lot here, and I think Shiz dies here. I'm not sure, but I died twice there. Look, does he die? No. We'll see. No, he didn't die. He was all right in the end. Ah, so now we're almost coming to the end of the video. It's going to be a long, long boss battle, and my complaining is over, and we've reached the the pearly gates, uh, heaven's door. So he's got his wings on, I've got my wings on, but mine's, mine's more of a special power than an actual um, accessory. And we're ready to go and fight the end boss, Boss Diablo. So if you don't want to watch the end boss or anything, you know, switch off now quickly. Uh, if you do, and you want to see how I how I take it on? I'll give you some tips and things, even though it's probably the third time I've completed it. But of course, it's going to be easier with two or more people. First couple of times I did it, it was uh, I think I did the first time myself, uh, but uh, because I remember my little follower being captured there before that bridge, and uh, that's just something that Diablo does. I don't know whether to refer to Diablo as a he or a she. Um, because that's another spoiler uh, earlier on in the game, but uh, but anyway, I think I'll just call it Diablo. He says he's Legion, and that can't be true because I've played Mass Effect Three and Mass Effect Two. So this is my most powerful attack, the RT button. I'm holding it, and that health bar just—it's not really going down much. He hits me once, knocks my health down half almost. Puts all these things up. Need more time. Apparently I dodged that. Um guess it's as good as mine. I put these uh crossbow turrets around, the sentry turrets. And they I don't think they do that much damage, but they do heal. You can heal in them. I dodged that apparently, but then get stunned. My good friend made a very good point there. He teleported us to this realm. Couldn't he just teleport us into lava? <laughs> yeah. I mean, the amount of energies involved to teleport somebody into another realm are just phenomenal, let alone you might have to even create that realm yourself but to um, teleport someone into lava obviously it depends on the proximity of the lava but I'm pretty sure that that's going to use less of your, your magic or power to do and it will put your mind at rest because if you put them in another realm 
that might be like uh, Q Warhammer reference. Might be like Drago, and that's probably not a good thing because he'll just walk your realm. Re realm. <laughs> he'll just walk your realm and just take on anybody because he's a he's a boss. He's a boss. Anyway. So I'm spamming these turrets now and again. Haven't died yet. You have to fight your shadow selves in here. And the last time we did it, they were, they were quite difficult. Or, well, my one was quite difficult. Um, but this time it seemed quite not, not too difficult. Oh dear. So now he's trapped me there. I think he's picked up Shiz there. Didn't do much damage, but he picks me up. And, and instantly kills me. <laughs> so that just goes to show you how much health uh, Shiz has than, than I. It's uh, it's not funny because he can just pick me up and insta kill. But it's, it's a long old uh, boss battle because there are quite a few parts to it. For somebody's shadow, well, for Diablo's shadow, pretty tough for a shadow. So, we have to take out a shadow, taken out a shadow. Now to get into the, the meat and gravy of the boss. Or the meat. And I just have to skip that because I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not going to stand there and listen to all of your filth. Right, so as you can see, we are halfway there and killing this boss. He uh, starts to breathe some kind of electric, electrified fire. Stamping about, he's getting very angry. I'm gonna build up all my hatred and then let rip and then die. <laughs> that was not part of the plan. So this is not, yeah, so. It almost kills me there, but I managed to heal just in time. Get out of these uh, fireballs, because they're very, very dangerous. Again, I'm getting hammered. But he's almost dead now, he's almost dead. Shiz is causing him a lot of damage there. you just got to dodge these fireballs, because you don't want to stay in them. Finally, take him out. So, that was the end. I'm not going to have the uh, the end cutscene, but I do get an achievement here, I think. Yeah. So, that was my little uh, Diablo 3 update, update gameplay video. If you have enjoyed this video, please do comment, rate, and subscribe. It really does help me and motivate me to do more videos. And uh, thanks again for watching. Take care.